a villain in Venice, Jane of the Air Book One, a steampunk detective and aviatrix, and part-time spy. Available now. All profits to the NHS. Scanning for audio. Hello, welcome to a Tin Dog podcast, this time talking about the robots number two. So it's the robots 1.2, except of course we already know that there's just going to be the one series, but this is robots 2.2 because this is the second box set. Does that make sense? Thank you, yes it does. Box set synopsis. During the events of Doctor Who Ravenous 2, Liv Chenka left the Doctor and the TARDIS behind, just for one year. A year during which she would live on Kaldor and get to know her sister, Tula, all over again. But Kaldor was going through a period of tumultuous change, technologies changing at an advanced rate. The robots are evolving, artificial intelligence is adapting, and with these changes so is politics. And with these changes, so politics is altering too, dangerously. Can Liv and Tula make a difference during the most turbulent time in the world's history? It's a three-story box set. The first one is the Robots of War. Now, I don't know if there are three box sets in this subset, or if there's four box sets in the subset, making 12 or 9 stories. Does that make sense? I'm hoping that it's 12, but you can't win them all. If it is 9, that means the next box set's done. But... I'll be really sad, because I've been enjoying this so much. I mean, Liv's just a great character. She works so well with her sister, and it's nice that she's trying to solve stuff. But she's not the Doctor, and that works. 2.1 Robots of War by Roland Moore A visit to an old flame goes badly wrong for Liv and Tula, and soon find themselves locked down in a military training base, surrounded by traitors and robots built for war. As they attempt to get everyone out alive, there's a chance they've missed something important. It's so nice to see the laws of robotics tinkered with, messed with, and improved on, and totally ignored. I absolutely loved that one, and left going, oh, it can't get better, and then it does, because 2.2 is Toos and Paul by Andrew Smith. This one doesn't have live in it. And that came as a bit of a surprise. Synopsis. When a murder takes place in an isolated outpost, there's only one man who can look into the crime. Investigator Paul. Newly reunited with his sandminder colleague, Toos. But can he overcome his fears and prejudices to solve an old case? Oh, it's so nice. It's got a proper setup. It's got characters. It's got how the world sees robots and what's coming. It's reintroducing them, and then you realise that the actor's just died, and this could be the last thing we ever hear him do. And that's just heartbreaking. Now, that's not mentioned in the extras, which means I'm hoping that his parts in the other box sets have been recorded and are there and are fine. Because I'd hate for Toos and Paul not to be in the rest of the boxes. Because it's so building to something else, something great. Yes, I know when you're listening to this, you're thinking, oh, isn't she the one out of countermeasures? But of course she was in this first. The last one, Do No Harm, by Sarah Gotchler. I am sorry if I've mispronounced that one. After an incident in laboratory leads to tragedy, somebody needs to be found accountable. And who better to be prosecuted than a robot? But when complicated ethical questions arise, the outcome of the trial becomes bigger than a single case. What if somebody else is working behind the scenes? It's classic courtroom drama, and it works so well. And yes, the robots have all got the voices of other people, but that's fine, because that's what the robots in this series have got. 
I just love this one. It's a definite gem, and you may have missed it because you thought, oh, I didn't see Ravenous, so I don't know about that. Forget that. If you enjoyed Robots of Death and you're one of the not-so-countless people who managed to get that on Blu-ray recently, this is a brilliant addition to it. It's the whole world of Caldo, and I love it. I can't wait for the next box. Here's the trailer. Decide for yourself, as always. But until next time, be seeing you. Hello there. Oh, hello. Lish Tooth. How do you do? What? Tooth? What are you doing here? From Big Finish Productions. The Robots. Volume 2. Good morning and welcome to Kinsoff Peak Training Base. Ooh, a bunker. Love a good bunker. Sarcasm. It's early in the day. It's almost like it's my default setting, isn't it? Only 20. Cadets. It's a small training facility run by the company. We test out new protocols, new training exercises. We're testing out a new strategic on SV-22 here. There is evidence of a small explosive device. One was missing from the armory. Sabotage? Something's gone wrong here. Having robot trouble? This is a lockdown situation, and as such, I am now in command. I cannot harm a human. I happen to know robots can. What have you done? People are getting very nervous about the sons of Kaldor. No, I would not travel with a robot. Not for all the Lucanol on Kaldor. I killed them. I killed them all. No, that is impossible. No. Stay away! Stay away from me! Ah! This is the first time in Kaldoran legal history that a robot has been accused of committing a crime against humanity. The trial starts tomorrow. In this state, it'll condemn itself. Then who will defend it? Legal rep, Chenka. Level one, Your Honor. Big finish. We love stories. Nice landing. Oh, was that sarcasm? No, I wasn't doing it then. That was the Tin Dog Podcast. Available on Spotify, iTunes, Acast, Stitcher and wherever good podcasts are found. Get early access to content by subscribing to the Tin Dog Podcast YouTube channel. You can support the show at patreon.com slash tin dog. Contact the show on Twitter at Tin Dog Podcast or email tin hyphen dog at hotmail.co.uk. All of the things discussed are the intellectual property of others. No infringement is intended. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance.